At Vertex, we believe true scientific transformation happens at the intersection of human biology and medical innovation. We are continuously developing our drug discovery and development toolbox to advance cutting edge science in order to solve some of the most difficult medical and scientific problems. One of those tools is cell encapsulation. What is cell encapsulation and how does it work? Cell encapsulation is intended to protect and support cells that are introduced to the body during treatments such as cell therapy. To rewind, cell therapies involve inserting certain types of cells into the body that may be able to repair or replace damaged or destroyed tissues with the goal of treating a disease. For some cell therapies, cells that are inserted into the body need protection from the immune system, as well as access to the necessary nutrients to survive. Our immune systems are responsible for watching out for foreign invaders, such as viruses or infectious bacteria, foreign cells or material, any foreign bodies that could pose threats to our health. But our immune system sees foreign material as a threat, even when it may be a good thing, like an organ transplant or cells for cell therapy. Therefore, these cells need protection to prevent rejection by the immune system. This is the body doing its job to keep itself safe. However, it's important to make sure that the implanted therapeutic cells can also be protected. Implanted cells can be protected through a few potential methods, including cell encapsulation. Cell encapsulation is one approach being investigated to provide protection from the immune system by placing enough living cells to be potentially therapeutic within a specially designed encapsulation device. The encapsulation devices are designed with the goal of behaving like a natural tissue to minimize the potential that they could be recognized as a foreign material. These devices could potentially be inserted into the body. Encapsulating the cells in a device intends to protect cells from the immune system by using a special barrier that immune cells are not able to pass through. These devices should also be designed to allow vascularization, which is the ability of new blood vessels to grow in and around the structure. Vascularization is important because it provides pathways to ensure that blood can bring oxygen and nutrients to the encapsulated cells, keeping them alive while simultaneously distributing molecules around the body that the encapsulated cells may produce. The aim is for the encapsulated cells to thrive and function within the body without the possibility of the immune system detecting and potentially destroying them. How can cell encapsulation be used to potentially treat disease? Cell encapsulation is an innovative tool that has the potential to help treat diseases, such as certain types of cancers, hemophilia, Parkinson's, and type 1 diabetes, among others. This approach aims to provide protection from the immune system for the therapeutic cells that need to be inserted into the body to potentially repair or replace damaged, mutated, or missing cells. Hopefully, they will then be able to treat the underlying cause of the disease.